Hi everyone, welcome to Enjoy English School. I'm Steven. I'm Minnie. And today's day is January 23rd, and we're going to be talking about the origins, the age of the internet celebrity. 那今天呢是一月二十三号，我们要讲的是追根究底的单元。那我们今天要讲的是网红的主题哦。Social media influencers have taken the world by storm, for better. And for worse, 社群媒体网红呢，它风靡全球。那当然呢，影响呢有好也有不好的地方。So when we say something takes the world by storm, we mean it's super famous and it's super everyone's doing it, and this fame came really quickly, like a storm. 那这边我们可以看到 ，taken the world by storm 这个片语，它其实就是风靡全球意思，就像那个 storm 龙卷风一样，卷卷卷卷卷卷，所到之处都带来很大的影响。So let's learn more about social media influencers. In the past, when companies wanted to sell their products, they would find big celebrities. 那以往公司行号呢，他们想要销售他们的产品的时候，他们都会找那种大明星。Mm -hmm. So when we say in the past, you could also say before or previously. Now, previously is P R E V I O U S L Y. Previously, so it's just ways to say in the past, like before. Okay, so before when companies wanted to sell their products, what's a product? Any time a company makes something, that is a product. Okay, and they would find big celebrities. What are big celebrities? It doesn't mean that they really are big in size. <laughs> it means that they're very famous. Okay, so in the past, 这边呢，我们可以用 previously 或者是 before。基本上它就是一个过去式的使用的一个时间点。再来的话，第二个部分 product， 它其实就是所谓的产品。那有可能食物也是产品，用品也是产品，帽子也是产品， yes. 甚至我们提供的哎线上课程也是产品。Exactly. 对，那 big celebrity 这边指的是有名的，不是真的它很大。Mm. 体积很庞大。如果是这样的话，我们两个都很小。Small, small. <laughs> yeah. All right. And also, celebrities is a very long word for a famous person.、Mm. Sometimes we say some,、uh, we say a shorter word.、Celeb. We say celeb.、Uh -huh. Exactly. So C E L E B. You'll、celeb. hear that as well. Okay. Then they would pay these stars a lot of money to advertise for them. 然后呢，他们就会花很大笔、很大笔的钱来请这些明星替他们来做一个广告。嗯哼 ，So stars is another way to say a famous person.、Mm. It's another way to say celebrity, just、mm. like stars in the sky. Okay, so you can hear both of those. And to advertise, it just means that they will help them do commercials. Okay, or help spread the word. 那在这边我们可以看到星星那个字 ，twinkle twinkle little star，、mm -hmm. same star right？ Same star. 星星的那个 star 也可以当做是名人的意思。Mm -hmm. 然后再来 to advertise，advertise advertise 这边我们当动词使用，也就是做广告、帮忙宣传、广传的意思。Things are different today as many companies are turning to bloggers and so-called social media influencers instead. 然而呢，今日的这个趋势已经大不相同了。许多的公司转向求助于布洛克，或者是像我们所谓的社群网红，来帮他们做宣传。Right, and so you hear, you see the word instead at the very end of the sentence, but in Chinese you put it at the very beginning. Yeah, right. Her, right?、Mm -hmm. So in, instead, you can put at the end of the sentence in English, and if you think instead is difficult to use, you can also use the word rather. R a t h e r. These are both acceptable. So things are different. Today, as many companies, so this as this preposition is trying to show what is the thing that is different today. Okay, as many companies are turning to bloggers. Okay, so turning to someone means that now you're starting to look for these people instead of celebrities. So what kind of people are you looking for? You're looking for bloggers. People who write blogs are called bloggers. Okay, and so-called social media influencers. Why do they say so-called? Because this is just like a new term. It's not a technical or official term. So so-called is a way to say this is an unofficial name. Maybe ten years after this will be a very. It's already pretty much official. Yeah. yeah. 那刚刚在这边呢，据我们可以看到 ，instead 这个字，它其实可以用 read 来代替。那中文我们通常就会翻译成像反而啊、然而啊这种转折的用法。然后再来另外一个这个 s 的这个介系词使用。的地方，大家可以特别注意一下。这边其实它就在强调一个句子的转折的地方。然后最后刚刚哦，这刚刚还有讲到 turning to 就是转向，原本可能是
我们选择用大明星嘛，嗯、现在转向成为网红这个部分。嗯、那 blogger 呢，就是我们所谓讲写部落格的人，嗯、加 er 变成人，这个我们常常看到。嗯、再来就是 so c o l e 就是我们所谓所谓的、嗯，那我们就可以用 so c o l e 来去形容它。That's because these online celebrities have millions of followers who pay close attention to everything they say. So online celebrities are people who are famous because they do things online.、Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe they do things through Instagram or Facebook. They're online or、mm-hmm. YouTube. They have millions of followers. That means they have more than a million, like、mm-hmm. maybe two million or three million. So a lot of followers. A follower is somebody who follows you on Instagram、mm-hmm. or social media. Okay, and、um, when you pay. Close Close attention to something that means that you pay a lot of detail. You really pay attention to the details.、Mm. You spend a lot of time studying this thing. Okay, so don't forget to have that preposition to, to. pay attention to. 那这一句话的意思，他是说，那是因为这些网红他都有数百万名密切关注他们所谓的粉丝族群这样子。Okay, let's take a short break. Okay. Many kids today dream about becoming social media influencers or YouTubers when they grow up. 那今天有很多的年轻人啊，梦想长大之后都可以成为 YouTuber 或者是网红。嗯哼。So when we say today, we can actually mean like today, but it can also mean recently. R E C E N T L Y, and it means like 如今 okay, or 最近 okay. So many kids today, what do they do? They dream about. Okay, so the preposition you use with dream about something is about. They dream about what? They dream about becoming social media influencers. Or YouTubers, so someone who posts videos on YouTube are called YouTubers. And earlier we、um, we learned the word blogger,、Bloggers. right? If you're someone who makes videos instead of blogs, you're called a vlogger. V l o g g e r, vlogger. 那在这边呢，我们可以看到 today 这个字，通常我们都当今天，对不对？那 today 同时也可以指的是就是最近。今日或者是现在这个时代，反、mm-hmm. 正只要是指现在这个情况，都可以用 today。Right. 再来 dream about， 要特别注意这个介系词 about， 它是搭配着使用。然后呢，呃，在这边我们可以看到 YouTuber YouTube 这个平台，大家都知道，对不对？大家也在 YouTube 看到我们很多的影片。那这边加了 er 就变成是做这些影片的人。那刚刚老师有特别在提到，我们刚刚学过 blogger。那如果你是做真的跟影音相关的，有另外一个是 v 开头叫做 vlogger。Mm-hmm. And something I want to also add is social media is any platform that you can post videos about yourself or you can post、uh, information online for everyone to see, such as Facebook, Instagram. Twitter. YouTube,、oh. exactly. So these are all social media platforms. So if you're someone who is influencing people,、mm-hmm. that means you have a lot of followers. People want to know what you want. They want to know what you're eating. They want to know what you use for makeup. You become an influencer, someone who can influence people. 那在这边呢 ，social media 就是社群媒体的意思。那社群媒体就有很多啊，像我们常常用的 Instagram、IG 啊，对不对？或者是像脸书、FB 啊，这些全部都是社群媒体。那只要你在社群媒体上有影响力，那我们就可以说他是一个 influencer。For many young people, it seems like a dream job. 那对很多的年轻人来讲，这感觉就是一个梦幻的工作。Right, a dream job is a job that everyone hopes to <laughs> yeah, have, right? To stay at home. So why is it a dream job?、Mm-hmm. Influencers usually don't have a boss,、Yay! and they get to work from home. Wow! Because influencers, 呢，通常他都没有老板嘛，不用面对老板，而且他们可以在家里工作。Right. When you get to work from home, that means you don't have to go into the office.、Mm. Right. That's like everyone's dream. Yeah. True. Right. You don't have someone bossing you around. So this word "boss" it can be a noun, which is the person who is in charge of you when you're working,、mm-hmm. but it can also be a verb. When a boss is telling you what to do,、mm-hmm. that means he is bossing you. Around. 那因为没有老板啊，那老板这个字大家都知道叫做 boss。那 boss 这个字也可以变成动词，就是感觉好像很霸道的指使你做任何事情的动词。Mm-hmm. All right. Every day they spend time making videos and taking photographs to share with their followers. 那他们每天呢都要花很多的时间制作影片、拍照，然后呢来跟他们的粉丝分享。Right, so here, let's pay attention to when you're using a lot of time to do something. We、yes. use the verb spend time, just like spend money. Okay, so the same verb, spend time. And what are they doing? They're making videos, or we can also use the verb shooting videos、mm-hmm. and taking photographs. Okay, so you shoot videos or make videos. 
and you take photographs. Okay, you can't make photographs. <laughs> okay, how about making photos? What do you mean by making photos? It's like using Photoshop, making photos. Okay, so when you're, you don't really make a photo in Photoshop, mm -hmm. but you're editing ah, a photo editing. in Photoshop. That's right. the verb. So edit is E D I T, and that's when you're making a picture look better. You're taking out the pimples in your face. <laughs> that's editing. Okay. okay, nice. Make to show show is editing. Yes. <laughs> okay. So in this here, there are some very important verbs that are special to be used. Is when you are making a photo, a film, we use shoot or make. But if it is a picture, we use take. So if you have already said that if you are making a photo, we use editing. Okay. Influencers enjoy starting conversations about topics that they really care about. That these influencers, they very much like to discuss their important topics and topics. So you want to start talking about something. We mm -hmm. usually say they start a conversation mm -hmm. about. So the preposition is about.、Mm -hmm. Topics are subjects. Okay, S U B J E C T. Subjects. Okay, or certain things, certain categories of interests. Okay,、uh, about topics that they really care about. So when you care about something, you have to make sure you have the preposition about. 那在这边有两个很重要的介系词要请大家特别注意。第一个就是你要跟别人谈论什么东西 ，start conversation， 我们用 a b o u t 再来就是后面那个 care about， 就是你关切什么东西，你关注什么东西，我们介系词用 about. All right, let's take a short break. Influencers with millions of followers can become very powerful. 网红呢，连同数百万名的粉丝，可以变得非常有影响力。So here we see millions of followers again. Okay,、mm -hmm. so that means a lot of followers, over a million followers. Okay, so they can become very powerful. So when you see this adjective. Powerful. You think like Superman, like he can punch through walls. He's very powerful. But in this situation, it's not talking about physically, okay,、mm. body like powerful. It's talking about their influence is very powerful. They have a lot of influence over many people. 那在这边我们可以看到这个数百万名这个 millions， 记得加 s， 然后后面用介系词 of， 然后在后面再加上你要讲数百万的名词是什么，然后再来 powerful 这个字，通常我们听到这个字，通常都会想到超人这种体力上面过于。厉害的人， mm -hmm. 但在这边我们想的是影响力，也就是那种无形的、看不到的这些影响力。Mm. Their followers trust whatever they say and often look to them for guidance. 网红的粉丝们信任他们所说的一切事情，而且呢，常常仰赖他们指点迷津。So some people might be confused how to use whatever.、Mm -hmm. You could also use the word anything here. Okay, anything. A, a N Y T H I N G. The follow their followers trust anything they say, and often, often it has a T, but a lot of times we don't pronounce that T. It's often. silent. Often. So、mm -hmm. you some people say often,、mm -hmm. but it's more common to say often. often. Okay, they often. Look to them for guidance. So the thing I want you to pay attention to is when you're looking for something, okay, through someone. Let's say that you're looking.、Uh, I'm looking to many for、uh, comfort. Okay,、ah. maybe I'm sad about something.、Aww. Then I'll say I <laughs> am looking to many for comfort. comfort. So when you're looking to, when you're looking for something, we're gonna say we look to who and for what. 好，在这边呢 ，whatever 这个字就是任何的事情，我们又可以用 anything 来代替。然后另外一个很重要的一个片语啊，让你英文讲的更到地的方法，就是用这个片语 look to 人 for 后面接一个名词，它就代表说你仰赖，你找谁为了要得到什么，所以你仰赖某人为了什么原因，我们就写在 for 后面用名词。And guidance here, this noun, it means that you're looking for them to give you a lot of、uh, pointers, p o i n t e r, or opinions,、mm -hmm. or some advice. Directions.、Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Direction. For example, when young girls see a beautiful model on Instagram, they want to use the same makeup so they can look like her. 那举例说明，年轻的女孩呢，她在 Instagram 上面看到美丽的模特，她们也会想要用一样的化妆品，让自己看起来跟她们一样美丽。Right. So here we see Instagram, right? Yes. A lot of times in Taiwan we say IG. Yeah. Right. Okay. But in America we don't say IG. We say <laughs> the gram. 
Okay, Big so if you say IG to someone in America, they might not uh, know what, what you mean. <laughs> yeah, they might say the gram. So they might say, I am posting to the, the gram. gram. Okay, the gram, G R A M. It's just taking Insta out. And then makeup, it means, you know, what people put on their face is makeup, right? So the verb that goes with that is put on makeup.、Mm. Okay, put on. It's like putting on your clothes, same、mm-hmm. verb. Yes. 跟穿衣服一样哦，你化妆啊，我们也说带妆，所以我们用 put on 这个片语。Okay, and here the the word so and uh the the same makeup so they can look like her. It can also be put in order to. Okay,、mm. in order to look like her. So this so is not the adjective word for very like so beautiful. Okay, and this situation is being used as in order to. 那在这边的 so 它其实就是 in order to 为了的意思。Mm-hmm. In one study. Forty percent of people said they bought at least one product after seeing an influencer use it. I'm one of those forty percent. 一份研究指出呢，有四成的人们呢，他们在看过网红使用某个产品之后，他们也会跟风买一些产品。啊，我刚刚说我自己就是其中一个。So forty percent. If you want to know how to read that, it's P E R C E N T percent. Forty percent of people said they bought. Bought is the Past tense of buy, at least one product. That means maybe they bought two or three or even more than that. But at least one product. When did they do that? After seeing an influencer use it or that product. 那在这边啪啊，我们常常讲啪啪啪，其实就是 percent. Okay,、mm-hmm. percent. P e r c n t. 然后呢，这边 but b o u g h t but 它其实是 buy but but buy 的过去式，不规则变化。Mm-hmm. 然后再来 ，at least 就是至少，所以四十 percent 的人里面，他有至少一个人有买过产品哦。嗯哼 ，All right, so let's go into the review section. All right, Manny, when something takes the world by storm, what does that mean? That means something is 风靡全球 Yes, extremely popular. Okay, <laughs>、yeah. just whoosh, all of a sudden, super popular. <laughs> What is a product of a company? 产品 Okay, the product、mm-hmm. is 产品 And if we want to kind of do commercials for this product, what is a verb I can use for this word? Advertise. Advertise. Good. 做广告 So when I turn to someone for、yes. something, what does "turn to" that person mean? Uh, 就是你转向某人，求助于某人。Mm, I turn to many for advice、yes. all the time. Okay,、mm. 我常常找他来跟我讲一些意见 right? All right. Bad ones. <laughs> <laughs> when you pay close attention to something, don't forget the preposition to. To. What does that mean? 代表你很密切的关注什么事情。Yes, and then I dream about becoming a star. Ta-da! You're already a star. <laughs> What does that mean? Dream. Ah, <laughs>、uh, 就代表他梦想要成为一个梦想，梦想。Mm-hmm. Dream about. Don't forget、mm-hmm. that preposition. All right. And if I am going to use a lot of time doing something, I'm going to say spend time, just like spend money. Okay. 那这边呢，就是用 spend。如果花钱花时间，我们就是用花费。三兄弟里面的 spend。So when you follow someone on Facebook or Instagram, you become a follower. Yes, you're a follower, not、okay? a stalker. Follower. Not a follower. <laughs> 对，追踪者。Okay, okay.、Uh, stalkers is a negative、欸、kind of follower. 那个是有点变态的那种追踪者。Yeah, stalker. S T A L K E R. Okay. <laughs> Powerful. What is a powerful person? 代表你很强大，代表你很有影响力。It can be physical or it can be influence,、mm-hmm. right? Look to someone for something. What does that mean? 代表你仰赖某个人去给你一个什么东西。Mm-hmm. 在这边 ，guidance 就是引导、指导的意思。Yes. And then, what is the thing that we put on our face to makeup? Makeup. So put on makeup. <laughs> yes. All right. So that ends the review section, and thank you for joining us today. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye. The forty-eighth page, "Dragon Jody," "Wang Hong Xing." The age of the internet celebrity. In the past, when companies wanted to sell their products, they would find big celebrities. Then they would pay these stars a lot of money to advertise for them. Things are different today, as many companies are turning to bloggers and so-called social media influencers instead. That's because these online celebrities have millions of followers who pay close attention to everything they say.
Many kids today dream about becoming social media influencers or YouTubers when they grow up. For many young people, it seems like a dream job. Influencers usually don't have a boss, and they get to work from home. Every day, they spend time making videos and taking photographs to share with their followers. Influencers enjoy starting conversations about topics that they really care about. Influencers with millions of followers can become very powerful. Their followers trust whatever they say and often look to them for guidance. For example, when young girls see a beautiful model on Instagram. They want to use the same makeup so they can look like her. In one study, forty percent of people said they bought at least one product after seeing an influencer use it.